Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Constance. If you haven't been here before, I am a full-time reseller. I appreciate all of you guys coming back. I've had a lot of new subscribers recently, so I appreciate you guys. I know that you guys like to see all my numbers. I feel like that's um, my most popular videos for sure, and I'm happy to share all my numbers with you. So that's what I have for you today. I'm a little behind. This is from the week of, I think it is July 17th, is it July 17th to July 23rd, I believe. So I have all of those sales to share with you and I will also share like my total profit at the end. So stick around. I am going to try and go pretty fast um, just because I feel like my videos have been way too long lately. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave me um, a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Also, if you want to go find me on Instagram, I'm at teach and thrift. So you can find me over there if you have any questions. I'm a lot faster at responding on Instagram. So, um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to share my screen just so I can show you all of these sales. So, so hold on one second. Okay. So these are my sales from July 17th to July 23rd. Initially, I look at this and I see that those red numbers right here, right here, make me think my sales are lower, which I think obviously they are a little bit, but if you watched my last video, I sold that Lululemon dress for $200 that was mine. And so that wasn't really any profit. So I think that definitely affected it. So I think this week is still pretty good for me, for my one person business. So keep that in mind. I do everything myself. I'm not super motivated all the time. I'm just trying to get 10 listings up a day. It happens about five days out of the week. On average, I get 10 listings up. The other days, maybe not so much. Um, but I'm definitely working to getting to the 10 listings a day every single day of the month. So I need to have my drafts like ready to go for those busy days. But Anyway, so I do think this is a little better, even though it doesn't look like it's any better, but that's okay. So basically this shows me that for that, this past week, my total sales with everything was $1,857. And then after shipping and fees, um, I had, my sales were $1,273. I did have a few Poshmark sales I will share with you at the end, but most of my sales come from eBay. So I sold 55 items. My average sale price was $33.77. This did go down quite a bit, but I have been taking some lower offers just to get, you know, just to get some things moving like older items and such. So let's just get into it. So this brand is a more new to me brand. I have a friend that sells this brand pretty frequently and I found them and I decided to try and they did sell really fast. So this, was an item I picked up for $250. They are called Fly Flot, and I sold them for $22.99. Next item was a St. John knit tank. I don't know how much I paid for this item because I've had it for quite a while, and I sold it for $30. This is another St. John piece. I have a lot of St. John, and I can't believe three pieces sold right in the same time frame. Two different people, by the way. Um, so this one was super nice. I don't know how much I paid for it. Probably three to four, maybe $5 at the most. And I sold it for $41. And then this was another St. John piece. And this one sold for $22.39. Okay, next is this pair of king size pillowcases. They were vintage. They are Lauren, Ralph Lauren. So I went to one of the random local thrift stores and I found some sheets that were vintage um, polo Ralph Lauren, not, not what you're looking at here, but I did list those for $199.99 and I, they, it does have, they, those sheets have watchers already. So I'm kind of anxious to see how much those sell for, but I bought that set of sheets and these pillowcases that were not matching they were very similar but they were not matching and i paid eight dollars and something for everything so i put a cost of goods for these two pillowcases as two dollars 
and I sold them for $34.99. So definitely keep a watch for these cool printed vintage Ralph Lauren sheets. Next item, so this item and this item sold to a subscriber and a um, frequent customer, which makes me so appreciative. Um, and both of these items were, I picked up on half off day. I paid $3 for this dress. I paid $2 for this sweater and they sold for $44 because it was, um, some, like somebody who I've sold to before, I gave her free shipping when I sent her invoice and yeah. So if you're a subscriber and you're like, even you're interested in something, please let me know that you're one likes like you're sending an offer or something or that you're a subscriber and I will definitely try to give you the best deal I can. I appreciate all of my customers that come back for, come back for um, new items. So I appreciate you guys. Okay. So the next one is this Lauren Ralph Lauren and it was a linen skirt and it was really nice condition. Um, I did pay $4 for this and I sold it for 20 and this was probably just, I got an offer and I took it because my sales probably were low that day. So, which is fine. So next item, this was honestly something I was going to donate and I've had these for a while. I think I paid a dollar for these like a year ago and I just thought for sure they would sell, especially since they were size 42, but they did not sell. So I finally just marked them at $9.99 and somebody bought them for $9.99. Next item is this pair of Ariat jeans. And I've not really sold this brand a whole lot, but I know I've heard about this brand recently. So I did decide to pick these up. I paid $8 for these, which was way too much more than I normally pay for things. And I sold them for $24.99. They did have a little bit, you can see like kind of some lines on the bottoms of the jeans. So they weren't in great condition. Um, so I did list them a little bit lower, but they sold really fast. So at least I was able to sell them. Um, next item is this Lily Pulitzer little t-shirt. And I did have to wash this, but I don't think it had been washed before I washed it. It was like new condition, even though my pictures are not that great. Um, but it, I paid $4 for this and it sold for 25 Next item is this dress. It's the brand Leaf and it was new with tags. I paid $2 for it. Not the best pickup, but it did sell for $14. So I was happy with that. Next item. This is something I picked up for myself because I thought it was so cool and it was super bright green and it, it is vintage polo. So I looked it up and I, I, they had sold for a pretty decent amount. So I listed it for $39.99 and I got an offer for $30 and so I took it. So it was $4 and sold for $30. Next item, this is a linen blazer that I paid too much for. I paid $7.50 for this, but at first I thought this was really cool. It did end up having a couple little issues with it that I had to, to disclose, of course. And so I didn't sell it for as much as I would have liked, but paid $7.50 and I sold it for $22. So at least I didn't lose money. And hopefully somebody likes their new linen blazer. So this was a Lily Pulitzer find that I ended up getting on half off day and they had missed that it was new with tags, I'm sure. And um, it was super cute. I paid $3 for this, y'all. Just that was such a good day. And I sold this for $60. Next is this Lululemon um, tank. This I've had for a very long time, probably six over six months. And I sold it for $11.89. Next item. So this was also such a fun find. So this is a pair of vintage, vintage Janssen terry cloth pants. And I picked these up on dollar day. So I paid $1 for these. I listed them kind of high and I got, um, actually I sent out an offer of $31.99 and the person bought them and these probably sold in within a week, maybe less. So definitely keep, out, 
keep an eye out for Janssen terry cloth pieces. Um, so I sold two more pairs of these Chico's pants. If you've been around, I picked up maybe eight pairs, maybe more, of these Chico's new tags pants at my local thrift store. They were half they were marked at like 20 19.99. I got them for $10 on half off day and I've been able to flip them for in the 30 31 35 dollar range. So the same person bought both of these, actually this pink pair and this blue pair, and for both pairs they paid 58.99 plus shipping. And again, I paid $10 for each pair. Okay, so this this bra is called um, a boob bra. I don't know, that's the brand. So anyway, I got this in a thread up rescue box a long time ago. So I probably paid like a dollar or two, maybe for it at the most. And it did, I listed it because it was new with tags, but it finally sold for $12.07. Here is a pair of the Tory Burch Miller sandals I got last week. They were the really small size 5.5, but I was able to sell these really quickly for $55 and I paid $2.50 for them. Um, here is an Abercrombie, Abercrombie dress that was new with tags. Y'all, this was marked at $1.99 and I got it on half off day. So I paid $1 for this dress. There were quite a few listed, so I didn't know how long it would take to sell. So I listed it kind of low and ended up selling it for $16.99. Here is a skirt or a skirt. I feel like these have been really easy to sell lately. And this brand is Lulu B. And I don't know if this is just like a golf, like a, I don't know, their fabric feels really nice. Um, I don't know how to explain, like the dry fit material or whatever. So this was a size extra large, so I decided to pick it up. I did pay $6 for this, but it sold really quickly for $29.74. This is an IC by Connie K, which is a great brand to resell, but this one did have a stain, so I was not able to get as much for it. Um, I did pay $5 for this, which I would obviously would not have picked it up if I would have seen the stain, and I sold it for $19.99. Next item, a pair of aloe leggings. This is another thing that I probably should not have picked up because they were $4. And I only sold them for $17, which this was probably another one of those slow days where I just was taking offers. Next is this Lily Pulitzer girls, like baby girls dress. And it was just so cute. And I paid either $1 or $2. I can't remember exactly. But these little dresses are so easy to take pictures of. So if I think I can sell it for like $15 to $20, or even less, obviously. Um, I definitely picked them up. Um, this one did sell for 14, so. Here is a Disney Spirit jersey, and this one did have some wash wear. It wasn't perfect. I picked this up for $3, and I did sell it for $20. Next is a Walt Disney World vintage sweater, and I've talked about this little design before, but I it's so, like, just like nostalgic for me. I just love it. So I picked this up and I've had it for a while. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I sold it for $20.99. Here is a Life is Good shirt that I've had for just like maybe a week. I just got it. I think it was in my last haul. And I paid $1 for it and I sold it for $14 really quickly. This is a pair of J. Crew pants. I got these in a thread up men's rescue box probably a year ago. And they were new with tags, but nobody was interested. They ended up selling for $13.68. This, so the next three items were part of a like a bundle um, to one to one buyer who is also a repeat buyer and has bought quite a bit for me, and I appreciate her so much. Um, but so she got this Bo Bostonton tote bag, which I had kind of bought this for myself, and then. I did pay $10 for it and let's see and then I got these two logo shirts Lori Goldstein from the $1 day so I they were the same and the same size so I listed them together and 
So two, so I paid two dollars for both pieces, and then I paid two fifty for these BZs, um, little slip-on shoes. So for I paid about fourteen fifty for all three of those items, and she purchased this bundle for sixty three dollars and ninety eight cents plus shipping. So. I did obviously give her like a discount on shipping. Okay, so next item is this Tommy Bahama shirt. I found quite a few Tommy Bahama shirts like at the same time that were like larger sizes. The other ones were in really great condition. This one not as good of condition as I would have liked. So I kind of just listed it low to get to kind of get it flipped quickly. Um, but I did pay six dollars for this and it sold for sixteen ninety nine. So not the best profit, but. At least I didn't lose money. So this was kind of a cool piece. So this is a coach backpack. And when I only paid $4 for this and when I found it, it was really dirty on the inside. Like something had spilled, but it cleaned beautifully. And I was able to sell this for $75 y'all. So that was such a good flip. Next is this Gretchen Scott dress. Thought was really cute this actually had sold before and I'd gotten a return on it um, this time it sold for $32 I don't remember how much I paid for it probably around six dollars though next is a Tommy Bahama linen dress it was a size small I paid four dollars for it and I sold it for $25 Tommy Bahama has really been a good seller for me lately so I definitely keep your eye out for like linen or like just newer pieces because I definitely have had some good Tommy Bahama sales okay next is this joie silk dress I've had this for a very long time it sold for $17.49 you guys let me know do you pick up joie anymore I I'm kind of not picking it up lately so let me know if you think any of the pieces still do well Next is this pair of Olakai sneakers slip on. So I did pay $10 for these, but they were in really nice condition. And I had a person like going back and forth with me on the price and I finally just accepted, um, but I sold them for $27. Um, oh, I just realized it tells me right here how much I sold them for. Huh. Um, yeah, so not the best profit, but that's okay. Hopefully somebody's happy with their new Olakai's. Next is this pair of Good American shorts, and I bought these for myself. Okay, so here it does not tell me how much they sold for, so that's kind of aggravating. Um, so these were, I bought these for myself. I want to say I paid $29 for them, and I sold them for 30 So this is kind of a wash. I might have even lost a couple dollars on this pair of shorts. So um, definitely take that into account whenever I show you my numbers at the end. But at least they're sold and um, I bought them on a sale that had no returns and I didn't like them for myself. So I at least was able to resell them. Um, this is a Ming Wang top. And these are really nice. I've only found this brand two or three times, but they seem to be like this brand seems to be a really good brand to flip. Um, I don't know how much I paid for this top, but I sold it for $28.50. Here is a pair of Chico's Travelers pants, and I always pick these up if I can get them for around $3 or less. I paid $3 for these and sold them for $22. Here is the brand Parto, and this is a super high-end brand, but the resale is just very low, so I didn't really know what to do with it once I got it. I paid $3 for this top. It's like kind of like a sweatshirt. It was in really great condition. I thought about sending it to the Real Real, but they didn't really seem to have that great of prices either, like as far as their this brand selling on their site. So I just decided to list it and I took the first offer I got, which was only $20, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little more careful picking up like super high end brands like this, because if there's, n if, if there's, if the sale through rate is really low, like I don't want to sit and hold this for like years <laughs> before I sell it. So, um, so anyway, just definitely something to think about. 
Okay, next item. So this next item was my personal dress. And so I put my cost of goods was zero because I did have this for a few years and I wore it quite a bit. And it's like that gauzy material. So I just happened to like look it up. It's a Target brand. Um, and this sold with probably less than a week for $19.99, y'all. This dress probably didn't, I probably paid $20 for this dress to begin with. So I think that's kind of funny. But yeah, definitely don't like some, I don't know, don't just assume it's not worth anything if it's from Target. So this is a pair of L.L. Bean women's pants and they were new with tags and they had like the style name and everything. So I went ahead and grabbed them on half off day. I paid $3 and I sold them very quickly for $23. Next is a hat and I don't usually pick up hats, but this one was super clean and super nice. So I grabbed it for $2 and I sold it for $15. This is a Lululemon shirt and this was $1. So it's hard for me to leave $1 Lululemon behind, but it was the all yours cotton t-shirt and I sold it for $12.99. But you know, you don't really know what size they are when they the tags ripped down. So I need to be a little more picky when I, when I see these, but that's okay. Okay, so this dress has a cool story. Um, this is a MacDougal, so here's the tag. It's, I've had this for probably a year and it was like the first time I found this brand. So I grabbed it. I think I paid around $12 for this dress, but it definitely, you can tell it's an older style. Um, I was going to donate this because I'd had it for so long and I didn't want to deal with listing it. And I finally just listed it and just like said, whatever, like I'm going to list it and see if I can get something for it. And I listed it for $79.99 just, and I put in the description, like, you know, here it is, here's the measurements. You know, it's in pre-owned condition, um, you know, selling it as is. And I got an offer for $40 and I took it. So, and it was probably, again, it was probably less than a week. And I really didn't even think I was going to be able to sell this ever. So I'm really glad I listed it and didn't donate it. So, but I'm also going to be super picky. I don't plan on picking up like gowns like this just because I don't enjoy listing them. Okay, next item is this pair of Nike boys sneakers. They were brand new. I got them on half off day. They were $4 and I sold them for $30. Next is this, it's Richard Warren, but it's vintage, a cropped little floral jacket. I got this at the bins and I priced it high, but it's been sitting for a very long time and it's definitely a spring item if you ask me, but um, somebody did offer me $15 and so I took it probably paid two dollars at the most but it was kind of a bulky item in my inventory so I'm glad that it is gone this is actually getting returned the person said they were a little smaller a little too small for them um, but this was a pair of Birkenstock sneak or shoes Memphis lace-ups that I got like last week paid five dollars and sold them for fifty dollars they sold super fast so I'm happy to get the return and I might be able to even sell them for more based on how quick they sold. So we shall see. Okay, next item is this Maeve Anthropology dress and it was velvet and it had this like really pretty floral print. And this one was super special because it actually, the style name was my name. So it was the Maeve Constance dress. So I loved it so much. I priced it high, I priced it at $89.99 and it sold for $80.99. I paid $10 for that and that was a great flip. Here is a pair of Lululemon men's pants. I paid $4 and they sold for $29.74. Here's the little Lululemon tag on the back near the belt loop. Definitely watch for that. And my last eBay sale this last week was this vintage Ralph Lauren leather belt, women's belt. And I paid nothing for this because a friend gave me her donations and I sold it for $21. So those are all my eBay sales. Let's click over and look at Poshmark. So here we have on Poshmark, I sold the other pair from last week's haul of Tory Burch Miller sandals that I paid $2.50 for. I sold them for 
I sold this like bright pink Millie dress. I've had this for a little while. Um, it was cute, but it just kind of was like an older style. I sold it for $30. This, these Sam Edelman like studded boots. I found these at the bins. They were in really great condition other than, so uh, there was like one or two studs missing on the back. So um, they sold for $15, but I probably paid, you know, maybe what, $2, maybe $3 for them at the most. But um, here is an Old Navy little romper. It was a plus size and it was new with tags. That's why I picked it up. I don't know how much I paid for it, but I sold it for $20. This is a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under Crops, and I'm being a little more picky about picking up things like this. They have to be, it has to be like an almost new condition or I won't pick it up, but these sold for $22. And then this Lily Pulitzer romper that I found, um, I actually ended up picking this up on half off day. I had seen this at um, a thrift store and I left it and then I went back on half off day and it was still there and I got it. So I did pay $10 for it. This They were asking $19.99. I paid $10 and I sold it for $100. So that was a great flip. So here are all of my numbers. So this is from July 17th to July 23rd. Poshmark sales totaled $237. eBay sales totaled $1,857.14. And so my gross sales were $2,094.14. So if you take out shipping and fees and everything, $1,454.96 was what was actually deposited into my bank account. And then if you take out cost of goods, which is what I added up to what I paid for all of these items, um, that was $265.50. So my actual profit without the taxes coming out of this. I still have to pay taxes. Um, my total profit was $1,189.46. So for a week, I mean, did I spend 40 hours? Maybe, maybe I spent 40 hours working, but a lot of that time was thrifting. So actual working, I probably work maybe two to three hours a day total. And then I, you know, I thrift here and there. So I do typically drive to the post office. So if you consider how much hours and effort I put in, I think that is a really great week. Um, next week, I do know that my sales are down a little bit. So next week will be lower. So definitely stay tuned and come back and check that out. So those are my sales this week. I hope this was helpful a little bit. I hope that you were able to take something away from this and, um, yeah, and hopefully that you guys are out there making lots of sales and getting lots of amazing things while you're thrifting. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I am here just busy working. So hopefully you guys are doing amazing and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.